Hey guys, Adam here with yet another video for you today. And in this video, we're going to do just a quick update and overview of the current status of the pole position clone board. And so a lot of people have been asking me about um, what the status is and all that good stuff. So hopefully I can just give you a quick overview as to where I'm at. Um, so I'm sure you guys have seen this before. Pardon the disastrous mess down here. Um, this is the pole position clone with my little adapter board. Uh, sitting happily in my pole, pos yeah, pole position cabinet and this monitor is making some horrific noise so I don't know if anybody that's the thing too I'm not a monitor guru and there's gonna be a couple of things I'm going to talk about here um, so if you guys are more familiar with monitors than I am then you can give me tips you know I'm, I'm open to learning new things and so anyway this thing is oh it's like chattering you can really hear it and so anyway um, so yeah here is the the menu as it stands today, I'm always tweaking and changing different things. Um, the wheel as it says here, turn wheel to select game, press pedal to start. And so you can see as I'm turning the wheel here, it bounces between pole position 1 and pole position 2 and the little cars go back and forth. Um, I have some clouds in the background, I think I have that disabled right now. If we go into the test menu, it allows you to play with the dips uh, through the menu and not have to worry about dips on the actual Implementation, so here's the different games, pole position Namco and Atari, pole position 1 and 2, and then I believe if you step the pedal, it's been a while since I've played with this, and this interface has to be changed a little bit. As you can see, it's supposed to say, I think, you know, pole position, whatever game you selected, it's supposed to be here, it's not printing that. But anyway, you can change all the stuff that you can do in the dips, um, coins and laps and seconds per lapse and all that good stuff. Uh, let's go back, and back to the main menu. So let's go back to the actual menu itself and let's play pole position one. Um, the other thing that I need to uh, update or, or fix my implementation, you can see it's still loading the game, right? It takes a horrifically long time to load the games and I think that's just the limitations of uh, the way that I have it set up right now. But anyway, it should load up pole position one. The other issue I'm having for you monitor guys, this is a G07 as I'm seeing curling up in this corner here. I don't see that curling, and I, I don't know if you can see it too, I have a very subtle wave. I don't see the curling or the wave when I have the TPG, you know, the test pattern generator set up. But, excuse me, but I am seeing it here when I have my pole position uh, running. So I don't know if the frequencies are a little off or what. Um, the other thing I'm noticing, actually it's, that's not bad, I was going to say the game over doesn't line up, it actually lines up pretty well now. The screen is so burned in, which is actually nice because I can see how well the graphics overlay with the original. Um, but yeah, so this is, of course, pole position. Uh, we'll coin it up here. And these guys, you know, unfortunately they drilled, I don't know if you can see it, but they drilled a hole and put a, a button there for, for coinage. Um, the way that I'm going to have it set up is uh, you just press the pedal and it'll put a coin in. But anyway, let's go ahead and do this. You'll hear the audio. I do need to adjust the volume. I feel like the the voice is louder than the rest of the audio. And so the, the volume, there's four audio channels that come out in pole position and, and there's all sorts of things that are mixed in the engine sound and the, and the voice and the music. And the volume for each one of those is hardwired just due to the hardware. So I need to kind of adjust um, you know, my implementation to make sure that, it, that it's legit. Actually, let me go into low here. And then high. Just horse around a little bit. The other thing too is I'm noticing, eh, I, mean, I, I, just, I don't know, I see my car is jittering just a little bit and I'm not really a pole position guy so I don't know if it's something with this implementation. I don't know, it looks kind of okay right now. But uh, so yeah, I mean I'm going to be experimenting with John's actual hardware because I don't have a working pole position game here and just do some care comparisons and make sure that I'm on you know the right track here. Um, it doesn't, gl it doesn't glitch during the demo. I don't know if you even call it a glitch, but I just see like a little bit of a shakiness. And so I don't know if um, my hardware, when it reads the steering wheel, it, it's reading little, you know, little subtle changes that aren't there. I don't know, I'm just kind of theorizing what the issue may be. So anyway, game over. So if you hold the pedal down for a couple of seconds here, I think it's like two or three seconds and let go, it'll bring you back to the menu. And again, we've got this obnoxiously long load time It'll bring us back to the main menu, and then we can hop on over to uh, pole position two. Man, you can even hear that monitor from here. That's horrible. So, boom. So let's go over to pole position two. Loading 
game. But yeah, that'll be that'll probably be the next thing I tackle um, is the loading times, <clears throat> and then get on to some of the other fun stuff like high score save and the soft diff setup, making sure that all works, saving your settings, dialing in the audio, all those fun things. Here we go. So, da da da. Pole position too. So again, let's put this in low and coin it up. And we'll just pick, I don't know, we'll just pick Fuji, I guess. Press gas pedal to start. I thought I did that. There we go. Prepare to qualify. And let's see what we can do here. I think I shipped it too early there. Yeah, do you see that car right there? It was like, I don't know, bouncing around a little bit, the car. And again, I don't know, I don't have the actual hardware running, so I don't know what's normal. But luckily, Johnny does, so I'll head over to his place and place some pole position over there to get some comparisons. There we go, it's a little better. And I'm not, uh, I'm not a very good pole position player. <laughs> As you can see here, I'm just cruising around. My goal is to get it, you know, get the hardware authentic. I don't really care about my high score. All right, we'll play one quick game here. I got to get back to work. Here we go. <laughs> You'll notice that there's no screeching. That was another issue that I'm running into right now. Is this the screeching sound is inconsistent? I think it's 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 running a lot uh, more than it should, or I'm, I'm hearing it a lot more than I should. Just like normal driving, it's like you know, going nuts, and so it was getting annoying. So I just turned it off. So that's another thing I got to get fixed. And I'm hearing some weird engine sounds in the background. You hear that? It's like robotic or something. But that's why this is a work in progress. It's, it's a really finicky um, hardware. I mean, there's so many, there's so many layers going on here. There's like four layers of video going on. There's four or five layers of audio going on. It's a beast. There's so much going on. And so um, that's why it's taking so long. Uh, yada, yada, yada. And the hardware actually knows where you are, right? So obviously, if you're in the middle of a game and you're pressing the gas pedal for three seconds, you don't want it to boot you to the menu. And so I had to reverse engineer all of the uh, the assembly for pole position one and two, both Atari and Namco versions, to identify, okay, well, is it in gameplay? Are you saving your high score? Where is it? And uh, that way it gives cues to the hardware saying, okay, it's safe. Like right now, it, it, my hardware knows that the game is over. Um, it's in this idle state. And so if I press the pedal, then it'll bring you back to you know the main menu. So yeah, there's, that's that's what I mean. There's there's tons of development and stuff that's got on to getting this thing fluid, um, and there's you know still you know a bit more to go, but but we're definitely making some progress. So anyway, yeah, this loading thing has got to this has got to go because that's just taking way too long. So anyway, <clears throat> I hope that will appease everybody's uh, interests and in what the status is for this guy. Um, it's starting to get fun, right? You know, the hardest part was getting everything up and running and. And you know, getting the hardware done and um, getting just these little things figured out. The steering was working fine in gameplay; it wasn't working fine for the menu. Lots of little weirdness, um, but hopefully, you know, I can just start working on some more of the, the fun stuff now. But anyway, that's it. Um, I will try to keep you guys, you know, up to date as progress continues. And um, I guess that is it. I'm going to go get back to work. So, thanks a lot, guys. God bless, and we'll catch you on the next one.